When I think of financial literacy, I think, first of all, knowing how to manage your money, your own money. How do you earn it? How do you save it? How do you spend it? How do you grow it? And those are the kinds of things that, you know, even within the realm of education, you're often told, well, you don't make a lot of money. And that may be true in some cases, but you still, whatever you do have, you have to know how to manage your resources. And part of learning to manage my resources is that I learn to also step out of my comfort zone. Like, for example, I bought my very first stock when I was 18 years old. And it's also understanding how certain stock markets work. Under You have to step out on faith and learn other things about finances, how to earn interest on your money, how not to buy things that you cannot afford, and overspending. So it, it may be nice to have X, Y, and Z, but do you really need it? Or can you really afford it at this given time? And really thinking about budgeting and planning for certain expenditures in your life. So, and I think when you realize that your financial fitness is just as important as your physical fitness, your mental fitness, and when I say financial fit, that means you're not in debt, where you are especially bad debt like you know, credit cards and so forth and overspending, then that becomes problematic. And you want to make sure that, you know, you're earning your own money. There's something very empowering about earning your own money. And so if it's babysitting jobs you might have right now or going and having a, a job at a department store, just being able to have your own resources is an important and very empowering kind of thing to have. So so remembering, don't spend what you don't have, earn on a regular basis, save on a regular basis. Make sure you're saving at least 10% of everything you earn on a regular basis.